Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands by John Readings. This reading will be for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the upcoming week of September 2nd, 2019. So it's a three universal month and a three universal year, as I told you before. So that's all about expressing yourself, being creative, shining your light, standing tall, being happy and have like a, a youthful glow and joy about you. So, what are the major themes for my fire signs for the week of September 2nd, 2019, please? Okay, so, angel number 387, look at a fire sign, see if it resonates with you. The first card you got is commence, new beginnings, right? Virgo, new moon, we're still dealing with that. I'll take that. I'll take that. He hasn't shot his arrow yet, but he's getting ready to. I'm a little apprehensive about that. We'll see. Eight bamboo mushroom. New beginnings. Unconventional. So y'all about to start something real off the charts, off the chain. Something innovative. Something that does not usually happen. This could even be a lifestyle that y'all about to live. It's something that's about to happen that doesn't usually happen. And then you have the seven bamboo tortoise. Huh? It's going to require patience and wisdom. Hmm. So y'all about to start a whole new lifestyle, fire signs. But it's going to take time. And you're going to have to be patient. Right? There's some really big new beginnings on the horizon for you. But it's going to require patience. And you may say next week and you're like, oh, well, it didn't happen. I told you it's going to take patience. <laughs> so this is not just like a one week thing. Right? Where it's like, oh, I told you and it happened. No, it could happen two, three weeks from now. This is just the message you need to hear right now. The white card. Blank slate. Some of you could begin in uh, writing. Really expressing yourself. Remember I told you we are talking about self-expression. So through writing, through singing, through any communicative medium, right? It could even be art. You communicating the message. Graffiti. Something like that. Definitely a new beginning for y'all. And then look, next to the five bamboo, lotus. Five is the number of taking initiative, radical change. I just told you that with the commence card. But this is also a spiritual number, right? There's also a spiritual card. You have the lotus coming out of the bad stuff, reaching for the good, but being in tune with divinity, making sure that it is, that the baby is making sure that it's being sufficiently vulnerable, right? Excuse me. Making sure that it is allowing, in a state of allowing. Make sure y'all in a state of allowing fire signs. Because sometimes when you have fiery energy, you just want to go, 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 make stuff happen, push, push, push. But sometimes you have to allow. This baby ain't nowhere for it to go. It's in a real awkward situation. may even be uncomfortable. But look what it came from. It came out the mud. And it ain't where it want to be yet. But guess what? It knows. It has its eyes on the prize. And it realizes that now ain't nothing to do now but wait. I done climbed out of the water. Now I got to wait. One bamboo peacock, being mature, making sure that you are being reflective. Your life is, your present life is reflective of what you really want. It's a reflection of your inner life, right? If, is what you're doing what you really want to be doing? Yes, extravagance is coming, success, but is that what you want on all levels? Sometimes these things change. What we wanted last year may not necessarily be what we want no more. So you got the two one sword first of all partnerships cutting things off severing things sacrificing things there could be some issues with that there could be some issues with cutting off things remember these new beginnings come only after endings could be some issues with starting something new it could be some issues with getting the ball rolling for this new lifestyle right the sacrifices that need to be made but the solution Again, maturity. You have the tortoise, you have the peacock, and you have the chrysanthemum. All of them represent maturity, represent being patient, represent being um, being uh, kind of waiting for things to happen as they're supposed to happen, right? This is also about success, though. The chrysanthemum card is about success. You get there eventually, it just takes a little longer. This is a fall flower. It blooms in the fall. 
So don't worry about that. Nine wine heaven. This come, has come up in all of the readings. Completions. Divine completions. Perfection. Wrapping things up that no longer serve you. And it's underneath the lotus too. So with that being underneath the lotus, you have the, the lotus kind of being vulnerable, right? In order for these completions to take place. That's the only way that's going to happen. That's the only way it's going to happen. Another five. Radical change. I told you that already. Five wine house. So radical change in environment. Um, okay. Uh, radical change in the environment. Radical change in the way that you do things, right? In institutions around you, housing. Um, I feel like this could also mean radical change in your mind, right? Because it starts there first and then it, it goes forward, outward, right? Of course you could have a new job, all of that. But with the peacock here above the house, it's like I thought like you're a renewal of the mind. That's what it is. You're cleaning things out. Okay. Last card. So six bamboo water. Communication, nurturing, right? Communicating things that you need to. The beginning of a, a new way of communicating. The beginning of a new way of healing. Right? Healing things that need to be healed inside out or what did I just tell you a renewal of the mind I told you that one wine entering again more new beginnings walking through these new doors as a result of having healed these things acted on these changes been patient allowed this new lifestyle change to kind of work for you honestly but it makes me nervous that she's walking through a new door and he is about to shoot his arrow right getting everything ready y'all may be kind of hesitating right these new beginnings are trying to happen and y'all not doing everything that y'all supposed to do but last card is success itself so you are the new beginnings that are trying to come into your life are divinely guided it's exactly what you're supposed to be doing right look at all these blue cards look at the nine the nine here you got the six upside down inverted nine you got the white in two well, not two heavens. You have white and then the heaven and water. So here's the thing. You've already gotten it out the mud, fire signs. You don't have to worry about anything else. Now it's just a matter of being patient and allowing. Right? Allowing. None of these cards are really taking a lot of action. So make sure that you're balancing out. You're balancing out the act of allowing things to come to you as well as taking necessary action when it's time. Right? And don't get impatient. And don't be scared of things that... Or out of the box. Okay. So let's wrap up. Yeah. Okay. So Leo. All right, Leo, y'all got the seven bamboo tortoise. Angel number 707, look it up, Leo, see if it resonates. Y'all got to be patient with people. Leo, y'all are being really impatient in a relationship. You're being really impatient with somebody, right? It's like you are trying to make something happen through somebody else, and you don't realize that you are on their terms as well. When you're trying to make something happen for yourself, it's one thing. You're dealing with your own efforts as well as, you know, of course, universal energies. But you cannot push people to do something that they're not ready to do leo and i don't know why that's coming up you cannot push them you can pray yes there are spiritual things that you can do and you know kind of ways of getting them to that point but ultimately you just have to wait you just gotta wait leo okay aries seven circles insect Angel number 716. Look it up there. You see if it resonates. Okay, so again, all these seven, a lot of spirituality. Partnerships. Partnerships. So for you, Leo, the issue could be y'all grinding, y'all getting things done. Make sure that you're communicating, though, with the, the other person. You Only you know what this is. So whatever big project that you're working on right now, there could be a disconnect between what you're doing and what they're doing. It could even be at work. Like, okay, this is what my team is doing. This is what I'm doing. 
at home, relationships, friendships. This is what they're doing and this is what I'm doing. Make sure that you are closing that gap because after a while, when the chasm gets too big, it becomes irreconcilable. So make sure that you're communicating what you're doing to the other party, right? And where you even going? Because y'all may end up on two different blades of grass in two different directions and that may not be apparent to the other party at the moment. Last but not least, Sagittarius. Three bamboo toe. All right. Angel number 313. Look it up, Sagittarius. See if it resonates. So three, again, about creativity and all that. But this is also about healing. This is about being in tune with your emotions. Healing your emotional body. Being where you need to be for as long as you need to be there. See, Sagittarius, it feels like the, fire, the frying pan then got a little hot for you. And you're ready to take a leap. But the thing is, if you are where you're supposed to be, um, then you don't have to worry about trying to leap out of it, right? There's healing that has to take place under your feet, Sagittarius. Only you know what that means. There's things that you're supposed to heal, particularly in relationships or your happiness, your joy. Some of y'all could have just been down, depressed lately, right? With all these energies happening around you and feeling kind of stuck. But the universe wants you to know that once you sit still, <laughs> Sagittarius, and allow the information to come to you, allow the healing to take place, like sit in quiet, isolate yourself for a while, listen to yourself, meditate. Then once that happens, then it'll be time for you to leave and you'll know it. You won't feel stuck, you won't feel stagnant. The waters will be clear, everything will open up for you. Your joy will come back, but you gotta sit still and listen to yourself first. All right, y'all, thank you for listening. Have a good week, peace out.